What's up, my Koopa Troop? It's Koops, and welcome back to another episode of One Piece Treasure Cruise. We're doing Clash and Rue today. It's the Clash and Rue Fantasism. Oh boy, guys, this is the 60 stamina ultimate. On the channel, I have done the 30 and 40 stamina ones before. However, I've never shown off the 60 stamina one. Why? It's because it's really freaking hard. I have beaten it off screen. However, it's taken me a ton of gems to do. I was, this was a long time ago, I would play it, I would have to gem up to beat it, and honestly since then I've always looked at this event with disgust, I just don't want to do it, it sucks, it's hard, it's a really painful event. However, I'm going to try to beat it for us today without gemming. Don't know if it's possible or not with my team, but we will go ahead and give it a shot. I'll be looking for a friend Mihawk captain, I need his special, desperately. So we'll be grabbing this guy, he looks pretty solid. Here's my team comp. We are going to be running Doflamingo as our captain for the two times attack and HP boost to slashers. We have the coffin boat. I will have Law as a, I need his special, or I want his special. He also has a good 1300 attack for us. I will have my own Mihawk because I need his special. I'm using Whitey Bay. She does an increased damage to delayed enemies as well as Usopp, not the golden pound one. This time I will be using a pirate who lives by his code, aka the strong world Usopp. I have not run this team comp. I'm hoping it works. I have a general gist of what happens in the Enru event. I will be stalling a lot, hoping to make it through, guys. If we fail, we'll fail. But let's try our best to get through this. Whew. Okay, without further ado, let's go. This is big time. Oh, I hate this event so much. It's so hard for me. I'm just bad at counting, and it just makes it much, much worse. Elthor comes down every three turns. That's what we'll be counting. We'll be counting it out loud because I'm going to need all the help I can get. So, we come to these first guys here. I will want them to attack me. The lightning will not kill them. They will do a lot of damage, so I don't want to let them get out of hand. I want to take out the guys with three turns in the front, as well as that four-turn guy. We'll be counting out loud every single turn as we go through and stall a little bit here. I can maybe have two of them beat me up, but I don't really want more than that. So, and I will save the meat orbs if possible. They won't heal a lot, but even six or 700 would help, would be a little helpful. So, this is turn one. All right, one down. Several more to go. <laughs> All right, so let's kill off this guy with three at the top there. This is turn two. Talking out loud, turn two. All right, now we're on turn three. That means lightning is going to strike at the end of this turn. It will not kill these guys, but it will do 10,000 damage to them. Just so we know. I want to kill off one of the red guys, and I want to eventually kill off the green guy, but I want to really leave the blue guy alive for probably two lightning strikes if possible. So let's kill off the red guy and then work on the green guy. This is turn three, by the way, just so we remember. All right, lightning's coming down now. Boom, 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 bam. The one guy didn't die. That's totally fine. We're at turn one again. Turn one. All right, now we're at turn two. I'm not going to let this guy uh, hit me, probably. I don't really need to take the damage. So we're at turn two. Let's kill him. The blue guy will hit us. That's fine. We'll let him We'll let him hit us. I'm going to try and do so little damage to him that lightning finishes him off uh, later on. All right. Hopefully he can survive a lightning. I wonder if I should have both these guys attack me. I'm not sure that guy can... It looks like he can't survive a lightning as long as I don't do much damage to him. So let's kill this guy off right here. All right, that was turn two. This guy is going to hit us for 3,400. Not too bad. I think the other guys do more damage, which is why I don't want to hit him too much. We're at turn three right now. Let's see if the lightning, we can have it not kill him. Lightning now. Okay, we're at turn one. I am going to, I'm going to keep stalling actually here because I really, Usopp special takes 14 turns. I need that one. So it's going to be tough. All right, that was turn one. Now we're at turn two. And now we're at turn three. I really should let the light, cause lightning's gonna hit me now and not him. Oh well, whatever, it's fine. 
Now we have three turns to work with here before the lightning strikes again. This is important. We needed that to happen. Well, we didn't need it, but for stalling purposes, it's good. Because the lightning will kill these guys. We want to stall as much as possible. Looks like I'm going to have to uh, kill all the turtles to not take damage. And then let the lobster die to lightning. So we're at turn one again. This is good. So let's kill off these two guys with one turn. All right, that was turn one. Now we're at turn two. I have to kill three guys here. Well, if they hit me, it's okay, but I ho hopefully not too much. All right, that was turn two. Now we're on turn three. I'm gonna go ahead and essentially whiff here. Well, maybe I'll I'll grab the meat orbs. And lightning should strike down now. Boom. Okay, good. We stalled as much as we possibly could there. And we got a lobster, interestingly enough. Now we're at turn one again. Okay, so what I want to do for these these guys is... I'm always confused about who they bind. I really should know this better. I think I want to kill most all the guys. These guys can survive the lightning strike because they have more than 10,000 HP. And I want to stall here for a little bit. Not, I don't need to stall too, too much now. But a little bit more. I want to definitely kill all the guys with one turn. And I'm not sure who to leave. I think I want to leave the blue ones up. Or the red one up. I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll just not. We'll just try to stall a couple turns here. If possible. Alright, we're at turn one again. Alright, that was turn one. Now we're at turn two. Let's kill off this green guy. That was turn two. Now we're at turn three. What? We're at number three, right? I need the lightning to strike down the first time next turn. So I've already, I already have to wait another round of turns, if that makes sense. Lightning turns, because after this is turn three, lightning will strike down regardless after this of turn. But I need it to strike down first next turn. So I need I need to finish this round at round two or so. So what I need to do right now is uh, probably, I don't want to have these guys do too much damage to me. So I will probably kill off the bottom guy and leave the top guy alone and let the lightning hit him and then waste two more turns. Uh, that was turn three, lightning strikes now. After this guy does some kind of binding thing. He's going to try chrome bind us. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have left this guy alone. Oh, uh, it might still be okay. That was... Now we're at turn one. This is turn two. I need to go ahead and kill him here. So this is working out fine. All right. That was turn two. Now we're at turn three. This is this is going well. What I need to do here is I just need to let lightning kill all these guys off. They're they have high HP or low HP, high defense. I will. I think I can fish for. No, I don't think I can fish for. But I think Doflamingo gets rid of it all. But whatever. Let's just try anyways. Okay, that was the end of turn three. Lightning should strike if I can math and count. Nice. We did it. We did it, team. Now we're at Doflamingo. So we're back to turn one at Doflamingo. He will make himself immune from stalls for three turns. I gotta tank his attacks till then. Plus he will not allow himself to take too much damage. He's gonna half half damage. So all I wanna do these first three turns is do as much damage. Oh, he doesn't change your orbs, nice. I wanna do as much damage as possible to him, but don't use any of my specials. Due to the fact that I won't do really any damage. I, it's tempting to use the Mihawk specials. You're taught to use Mihawk specials. But he starts getting more and more annoying after 50% HP. And really obnoxious after 20% HP. So I want to try and get him as low as possible during these three turns. And then after that, we'll be using some specials. So let's go ahead and do this.
All right, that was turn one. He will do 6,335 to us each turn. That hurts. All star return to nothing gets rid of all stalls and things like that, so we gotta be careful for that when it comes up to it. I might grab a couple of health here. It won't do too much, but it will help a little bit. I don't think we need to do too much, but I'm not gonna do much damage either, so it's not a big deal. Am I actually healing for 420? That's hilarious. Already dank memes going on here. That was turn two. This turn three lightning will come down, but it only affects us. It doesn't affect him. I don't think I, I don't know if I want to use my specials right away or if I want to um, wait for his thing to go. I think I want to wait for his thing to go off. So we'll wait two more turns, I believe, is what I need to do. Let's see, though. Let's see how much HP we have after this. Six thousand three thirty-five. We would be able to survive one more hit from him. I think you're supposed to wait one more turn. I think, and then hit him with a stall because he's going to use that Kami thing after this. I think. No, I think you want it right now to go ahead and do the do the stalling and the damage if possible. Yeah, I. Yeah, I don't remember. I think he does the Kami thing, but does he normally? He doesn't. He normally does it after every two turns. So maybe you stall one more time here and then Kami. I think so. Let's try it that way. I mean, yeah, he does that thing where all returns to nothing. All right, so we survived. He does all shot return to nothing. I think now I stall and do as much damage as I possibly can. So what we want to do is use Mihawk special. Now I have two turns before the lightning hits again. I think I want to kill him before that, but I'm not exactly sure. We'll want to use our Usopp special, which will delay him by three turns, but reduces HP by 10%, which is why we took this guy. If you can stall out for his special, the extra 10% is nice. We want to do... This is for the extra 1.2 times damage to delayed enemies. That's not a lot, but it's something. I think there'd be better characters than Whitey Babe. This is all I have. I'm going to go ahead and try and get some dexterity slots with Law. Hopefully we get lucky. And hopefully it's not all recovery, like it normally is. Alright, this is good. That's good. That's what we needed. Actually, that's perfect. I overheat now and give my two dexterity characters, I swap the specials around, here and here. All right, and now we're ready to go do as much damage as we possibly can. Let's hope we can kill him. Oh no, the great! What happens? He's still stalled because he doesn't have the all returns nothing. He doesn't use it yet. So we have this turn. I think lightning comes after this turn, which we will die. So I have to kill him right now. Oh, we did it, team. We did it. Wow. That is how you beat it. Oh, that, that was pretty close. 98 HP. <laughs> oh, wow. Um... I can't believe we beat it without gemming. That's my first time ever beating that without gemming. Uh, no, not even joking. I, I actually beat this two times, and I've recorded this. Um, well, I, I beat this two times. I tried a recording before, but I lost where he had he had some HP left. You have to wait four turns, essentially, for the all to return to nothing. So you need to be tanky enough to, to deal with that, I think. Unless you can burst him after that third turn, which you might be able to if you have a strong enough burst. I don't always trust my iPad to record and not lag a little bit like it did. That's why a lot of times I go for greats, but just to be safer than missing the perfects. But wow. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we did it. I'm so pumped. That's the first time I've ever beaten it and maybe the last time I've ever beaten it. But that that, that is one way of doing it. Here is what drops the level 24 Enaru. Uh, deals 20,000 damage to all enemies and doubles quick characters attack for one turn. Drastically reduces. I don't know why it says that. It just says it reduces your HP by 90%. Is it 90%? I believe it's 90%. Why? I don't get. I don't get 
I hate actually the One Piece Treasure Cruise specials and captain things. They're so annoying to me. Like, the whole game revolves around a lot of math and numbers. So just give us the math and numbers. You literally have to look everything up online. Okay, doubles quick character attack. That's fine. What? It should just say two times character attack, but doubles is fine. It does say everything else in math terms, but then like that one, it says doubles. I don't really get it, but whatever. Here's what I mean. Let's let's look at a bad example while I'm ranting, ranting right now. Oh gosh, I just clicked way down. So let's look at Boa Hancock. Her captain ability. Boost quick inside character attack by 2.75 recovery by 1.5 as long as HP is above a certain level prior to attack. What does that mean? Just say if HP is greater than 70% boost Psy and quick characters by 2.75 recovery by 1.5. What? Why say this bull crap at the end here? I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I have to go look online to say, to see someone say, hey, as long as HP is above 70%. What are they trying to hide by being ambiguous about it? Like, are they just trying to troll and piss you off? Because that's what it seems like to me. I don't know. I, I get kind of mad about that kind of stuff. Also, Bo Hancock is the worst legendary in the game, which also pisses me off. But yeah, whatever. Anyways, I just don't get some of the stuff where they hide the stats. It doesn't make any sense. Once you get Eneru, you want to go ahead and evolve him. This is what he looks like evolved. Yeah, look at that. He is a monster in stats. He's a huge attack stat for a raid boss, free to play. His, he turns out to be one of the best captains in the game by giving a 2.25 uh, boost to quick characters, but it's the heal screw by five times characters recovery at end of turn that makes him such a monster. He doesn't double HP or anything like that, but what happens is he ends up being able uh, to stall like a beast. Originally, when you get him, he has like, Max is 200 something recovery, so you get to heal a thousand per turn. Well, then you get two Enerus, and now you're healing 2,000 or something per turn. Well, then if both Enerus go ahead and do like what I did, where they give their cotton candy plus 100, which is the max uh, you can in one area, to the recovery, now you're healing something like 1,600 per turn. Plus another one, now you're healing 3,000 essentially. So every turn you recover 3,000, which is an insane stalling. Insane! So even though your team won't have more than 15,000 HP or so, you can recover 3,000 of it per turn. So that allows you to stall for specials, stall for things, because even when an enemy does is like big and strong, hits you for 4,500 and attacks every two turns, guess what? You're full health after two turns. It's awesome. He's an awesome character. Really super good. Definitely uh, a necessary character, especially for the free to plays. You want to max a special. However, I find 60 stamina so tough. I did just prove that I can beat it. So, I, I know it's possible for me to do it. I think there are better characters and better crews out there. Something that gave slashers a boost would be preferable. I think like a uh, Das Bones, I think is what most people run. I don't have them because guess what? I'm not to that part of the game yet. So, I got to play more of the main story to maybe unlock Das Bones and use him instead. I'm using Whitey Bay because Bay of the turn delay. She does more damage to enemies that are turn delayed. Which is pretty convenient. My Whitey Bay also is really crap because I haven't evolved her yet. Uh, if I got her evolved and leveled up, she'd have 900 attack instead of 480. Maybe get her special a little bit lower, but I was stalling to get Usopp special. You don't necessarily need to use this that Usopp. You can also use Golden Pound, which would be fine. The reason I use the other one is because the higher attack doesn't really matter. I'm still going to be using him first anyway, so the, the attack isn't really a big deal. It's the fact that he does reduce enemies HP by 10%. That's kind of huge. And if you can wait long enough to get a special off, there's no special books, by the way, for this guy. He just he just came out as a rare recruit. That's why he's at 21. But if you can stall long enough to get a special, the 10% is awesome. You know, that's an awesome little add-on. It's not, it's not insane. It doesn't break the game, but it's a nice add-on. Because then I did 30% plus 30% plus 10%. Now, of course, when it all adds up, it ends up only being like 58 or 60%. But like, that's still a huge damage redu HP reduction that I don't have to chew through. I just use specials. Okay, guys, that's how you beat the 60 stamina ultimate. I'm so happy I was able to do a run where we didn't have to gem. I've never been able to do that before, so I'm actually pretty proud and happy right now. Oh, boy. I guess we need to go play more of the story mode so we can unlock some new stuff. But uh, we'll have to wait uh, next time to do that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and cry chop that like button. Until next time, GG. GG.